Hey, what's up everyone? This is Johnny from Phone Grade once again, and today I'll be reviewing the Samsung Focus. This is uh, actually my first uh, Windows Phone 7 um, that I'll be reviewing, and I'm actually quite excited. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the hardware first, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the software right after. Phone is really lightweight. It's only 4.07 ounces, really, really light and extremely thin as you can see. A lot lighter than the uh, HTC Surround or HTC uh, HD7S, which is about to come out. I, be I believe that one is 6.03 ounces, so this one is extremely, extremely light. This is powered by a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor. Now, I was a little bit surprised since most of the Samsung Galaxy S phones uh, support the 1 gigahertz hummingbird processor but apparently Microsoft's operating system is, uh, is specifically for the Snapdragon actually makes it run better so you know it, the, both processors are real good really fast you've got a 4 inch 480 by 800 super AMOLED display let me show that to you right here and my goodness this thing is absolutely vibrant this is one of the best uh, displays that are out there in the mobile market today other than the retina display for the Apple iPhone. This thing is absolutely amazing. The colors are so vibrant. It's very, very clear. I know it doesn't do justice uh, when you're viewing it through the camera, but this thing is absolutely vibrant and clear. On the left-hand side here, you've got this metal trim, which tapers down to the edge over here. It actually cuts off. It doesn't go all the way. But, you know, it's a nice little accent to the phone. You've got your volume rocker. On the bottom, you've got your microphone and your little indentation for the battery cover to remove. On the right-hand side, you've got your power key. Uh, Samsung is notorious for putting their power button over here on the side. And over here, you've got a dedicated camera button. On the top here, you've got a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. And over here, you've got your micro USB port. And it's got this little slide out door here. And kudos to Samsung for actually integrating this into a lot of their phones. I like it because when you put your, you know, the phone in your pocket, you don't want to get any lint um, or dirt in the port. It keeps it clean. You've got your proximity and ambient light sensor here, your earphone grill. And unfortunately, it doesn't have a notification light. A little bit of a bummer, but of course, it's not a deal breaker. Over here, you've got your three soft keys, your back button, your start and your search. On the back you've got a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash which is also capable of recording 720p high definition video. You've got your speaker grill here, Samsung logo, Windows phone logo. Go ahead and take out the back, snap this off. Now this is, uh, it feels, it's, it's plasticky, um, you know, some people have a little bit of trouble with that because they think that a lot of Samsung phones, you know, they don't build high quality phones, but I mean, it's not, it's not bad. It, it actually looks good. Over here, you've got your SIM port. You've got your micro SD slot. This supports up to 32 gigabytes and there's already 8 gigabytes of internal storage. So if you add a 32 gigabyte card, you're looking at a total of 40 gigs, which is a tremendous amount of storage. This has a 1500 milliamp battery, which is pretty decent. And snap this back into place. Try to get this on here. Make sure it's all on. And you know, it's 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 good. It's a good build phone. I mean, it, I ha I can handle it real well. I can hold it really well. So really good quality build. And that's it for the hardware. Let's go take a look at the software.